Show and tell Saturday. I've been to my parents for um, an early birthday tea, or birth tea, as I've taken to calling it, and um, come back with some fantastic show and tell fodder. Now, if you watched my vlog on Tuesday, you will undoubtedly be aware, well, it was about cartoon characters, um, top five cartoon characters, and I mentioned in that vlog that Tom and Jerry is my favourite cartoon. As such, I've received various bits of memorabilia from the show. And the latest piece is this fantastic porcelain figure of Tom. Um, I just, I'll, it's really well made. It's f m stupidly well detailed. Um, the painting is really good. Uh, they've even got like the tuft. That's when I said stupidly well detailed. It's because he's even got the tufts of fur on the back, um, and he's got a tail. Uh, everything's there. He's sort of leaning on a on a mossy stump. And there he is, that's Tom. Uh, not very in focus, but, well, that's this camera for you. Not only that, we've also got... Sorry, I just punched the, the microphone. We've also got a Jerry. Uh, swap them around so they're looking at each other. Jerry! There he is with his bag of TNT. Didn't realise you could have TNT in a bag, but, well, I suppose it makes sense. Maybe it's a bag of sticks of TNT or something. So these are produced by Wade... I'm not familiar with Wade figures, but these are Wade figures, according to the uh, the little stamp on the back. And I'm not sure if they are officially licensed, but they do say copyright MGM. So it's possible that these are actually licensed. I've got a cat running around like mad behind me as well. Um, either way, you know, the the very much on model they've certainly done put the effort in and made an actual decent looking figure and they, they look genuine they look the part i will say if i had to hazard a guess at what sort of era we're looking at because there are no dates on these um i'd probably say chuck jones era uh, that's what they're based on very likely um I mean, not knowing much about these Wade figures. I know my grandma's got some, so they're probably quite old. I wouldn't be surprised if they are from the 60s, which is when the Chuck Jones era was. But um, if you look at the colouring, very, very light grey. Um, in the Hanna-Barbera ones, he was more of a blue, as you can see there. Uh, and again, very pale brown on Jerry. And that's the nerdy bit out of the way. Yeah, I'm really happy with these figures. Uh, and something else about these figures, whoever designed them... Well, they agree with me in that. Well, let, let, let's just let's just take into account that Tom, Tom, there he is. He's looking very very chill. He's on his mossy stump, and um, you know, he actually looks a little bit worried, <laughs> possibly. Jerry, on the other hand, cheeky, very cheeky, and got himself a bag of TNT. Tom, does Tom have a weapon? Does he balls? Jerry is the villain of Tom and Jerry, 100%, and this figure proves it. There you go. <laughs> so, that's my uh, fabulous Tom and Jerry figures. Now I've just got to find somewhere to display them. I'm not sure I'll have anywhere in our current lodgings, our current dwelling, but there is scope to, um, to put them somewhere, I'm sure. Hopefully I'll find somewhere nice for them. Anyway. That's all. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. The Chuck Jones era. That was the latter day Tom and Jerry. 60s. Um, I've just recorded this whole thing. The microphone's over here. So you probably can't hear me talking. God's sake, I have to do that again. Ugh. Let's try that again with flavour.